Hey everyone, it's me, Matt Montanez again, and I'm gonna do a new project here for the Home Pro Shop Bottle Cutters Club. And as always, safety first. Let's get on our nice little safety glove. And that's one hand, <laughs> two hands, and we're set there. We got our beautiful Home Pro Shop Bottle Cut. I love it. You see me use it all the time on so many projects, so this is gonna be fun. And before you get started, as always, get hot water boiling on your stovetop and then get ice cold water in your freezer. And that's just to save time. So after you score the bottle, you can dip it to separate the glass. So I got a beautiful wine bottle here. As you can see, it's a little bigger than usual. And I use this one. It looks like I'm putting a pirate ship in there, but I'm not. It's gonna make a terrarium, I believe it's pronounced. So I got me a bag of soil, which was two bucks. I got me a simple flower pot for two bucks. So this is going to sit and cover the plant. I got me a nice little plant, which was a dollar. And that's pretty much it, all you need. So to get started, we're going to measure our wine bottle. And I'm pretty much gonna just leave it all the way and just cut it here and just put it all the way to the back. And let's just tighten that just so we can um, keep it steadier, just in case it moves forward a little bit. And yeah, we can push it back, but let's just tighten it to be safe, tight. Make sure it don't move. And let's get our wine bottle and put it down. And I know other people were having an issue where I guess their bottle was shattering when they dipped it from the score. And that's because they actually kept probably a cork or a cap covering the bottle. Don't do that. <laughs> Remove the bottle, the cap, or the cork. So as always, you're going to hold it towards you. Actually, I want to flip this around. Sorry, everybody. I decided to do it the other way. And I'll show you why. So I thought that was going to work. But let's flip this bad boy like this. Flip it like that. And we're going to measure it. That's going to be about the same distance. About... Let's go about right there, it looks great. Let's do this in. And make sure it's tight and it doesn't move. And this is why. So the reason why is because I'm going to hold it and support it with my left hand, but it gives me a good grip to turn it from the bottleneck so I can turn it this way. Let me move this bottle cutter over just a bit. So you guys can see this completely in frame. It's tight. So now you're going to rotate it towards you and you can use the bottleneck to rotate it towards you and use your left hand, whatever hands closest to the base as a support and just putting a little bit of pressure down. And we're going to rotate it twice. I have found that the two times rotation actually makes things to separate a lot easier and better. Actually, I'm gonna make it, a... <laughs> sorry, buddy. you guys are like, come on, Matt, hurry up, bro. I just want to actually make it a little taller. So same thing, rotate it twice, a little pressure. Here we go. And I'm in the notch. So now I'm gonna go one more time through. And there we are. We got it scored and it's a nice even score, just keeping that pressure on that base. So let's move the bottle cutter over and now I'm gonna go get my water. I'll be right back. Okay, everybody. So now I got my ice cold water, my hot water, it's steaming. And you know me, I like to dip it in the cold water first. I just find better success that way. And we're gonna dip it and make sure it gets all the way in there. And you want to give it a little wiggle just to make sure the water goes inside the score. And that seems to help. At least for me, it seems to help put a little too much water <laughs> about to spill. So give it a little twirl and you want to count 10, 20, 30 seconds, anywhere's around there. I guess the longer is the better or at least 30 seconds because it'll actually chill the bottle enough. So when you go in the hot water, it will make the temperature different. And let's go in the hot water. Same thing, you want to give it a little turn, make sure it's in there. And I guess I should mention, make sure you don't cover the top of the bottle with your hand or else it'll seal it and it might shatter on you. Let's go back to the pool. If it doesn't separate the first time or second time, just keep going back and forth and eventually it will. The water should do all the work. You shouldn't have to try to pull it apart. Let's leave it in here for a little bit, that bottle nice and hot before we go back over. This is actually a fun project. I'm excited to do this one because, you know, Monday, first day of the week, 
So I'm gonna have a nice flower eventually blooming a lot better since we're barely starting summer. So this is gonna be awesome. Getting there, it's pretty cold in the bottle in this water. Give it a little more time before we go back to the hot water. And this time, this process, sometimes it takes a while and it's actually the boringest part of separating the glass. But when it does separate, it's cool. It's like, oh dang, like it really worked. And um, it's something to be proud of because not every glass comes out right. So it's neat when it does happen and you're like, yes. And I heard it crack a little bit, like it's about to separate. And there it is. A nice, beautiful separation. Here's the other part right here. And look at that, beautiful. Okay, so let me move this out of the way. So now we got the top, right? And that's what we want. So let's sand that down before somebody gets hurt. Me, really. And this is my technique, you guys know. I put the sandpaper down, I get my bottle, and I just turn it. And remember, if you don't want to scratch your glass, I found out that water does help a little bit, or you can get a different kind of sandpaper. I myself always just use the included sandpaper and I haven't had a problem. And sorry on your ears. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get my dish and I'm gonna try not to make a mess. You know, you don't want the white on that. <laughs> so here's my soil and I'm gonna put my uh, plant in first. Yeah, that's how you transfer a plant, right? You put the plant in first. So let's move it around a little bit and get our plant right there in the center. Oops. I'm excited because I haven't had a real plant around in a while and I really want to take care of this one. So let's get it centered right there. Let's get a little more soil and just fix it in there nicely. So I just need a little hole right there. And let's pour a little dirt around my guy or gal. I don't know if this is a boy or girl flower. Are all flowers boys or all flowers girls? Maybe they're both boys and girls. I don't know. And I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I don't know how to plant flowers. I'm not really a gardener. I think I mentioned in my last videos, I uh, code apps and I uh, make music. So yeah, talk to me about that stuff and I can help out. But gardening, me, I could only do my best. Dirt all the way around. And I think we're supposed to add a little water, right? Fill in like the air gaps or something. I did some research on it. Looking nice. Okay, this is actually looking really good. Just the soil alone. I look right. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so let's uh, push it in. You guys are probably like, no, Matt, no, you're not supposed to pack it in. What are you doing? You're killing that poor little plant. Sorry, guys. I hope it survives. Okay, so there's my soil. And I made a mess. But it's okay. And let me go get some water. Let's pour a little water in this. I'm not even making eye contact with you guys. I'm sorry. Like, it's just me in my own little zone right now. Water in a plant. So there's the water. And now you want to get your glass and you want to put your plant in there like this and cover it. Looking nice and neat. And that looks so cool. I want to get this flower to stick up though. So. And there you go. And there's your little terrarium. And you can decorate the bottle, the outside. I left this gold ring up here or decoration because I thought that looked cool. And I think that looks great. So it's like your plants encased. You can eventually stick like knickknacks in there or around here, just like a little decoration. And I think that looks really cool. It looks really, really nice. So, you know, stick this in the sun, it soaks up the sun, a little oxygen, put a little water, and there you go. <laughs> All right, everybody, I hope this video helped. And I hope it gives you an idea on making a terrarium or any kind of other project, you know. Like I said, I do some of these uh, more simple projects, so you guys can just spark ideas and be like, one went Matt, I'm gonna tackle this now because it gave me an idea from watching your video. Cool. So don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Also, don't forget to drop me a comment below. Tell me what I could have did better. Tell me, Matt, 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 you know what? Let's try this and I'll try it. Or, you know, just share your projects in our Facebook group when you buy your bottle cutter. And if you want to buy a bottle cutter and don't have one, the link's in the description below. So after you do that and you buy your bottle cutter, don't forget to join the Facebook group. That's when we're all discussing our projects, tips, tricks, how to get a beautiful cut like this, and more. That's where you get the most out of this group. As always, until next time, crafters, take care.